There we the go. Piece. Lou here, Poppy here. We're having a, another chitty chat. We'll, we'll let you in on it if we think if, if we think we can handle the the intense, passionate feedback from the world. One more time. Oh, yeah. This is what happens when you say, "How are you, Lou?" Exactly. <laughs> you this is why right I in. never. This is why I never say. I learned this from working in a psychiatric hospital. I say, "How are you?" when I want the answer. Now that's right. it. Right. Right. <laughs> um, Two psychics meet each other and one says, you're fine, how am I? Exactly. Yes. I love that. Thank you. Um, yes. The piece that I'm finding tiring in this, it's easier actually for me to be raging and angry at what's wrong than it is to empathize with the people who are stuck in the middle going, but what? Who? They said what? Oh God, I'm just overwhelmed. To have that person and those people there and not want to beat them is the challenge. Well, because yeah. I get it, because I'm them. Sure. However, you know, we all walk different paths and through the work that, uh, you know, of my dad and so on, you know, we, we you and I have a similar kind of everything. <laughs> sure. To, to know the degree of, yeah, the yeah. degree of corruption, obviously, that I have been privy to is because the you know in alignment with the degree of madness that i've been privy to because of it so you know i've spent a lot of this time in this kind of okay this whole period is about dividing us in in who's going to what level of you know ability to reflect Polar, on... polar polarization is my word for it Exactly. And this is the universe, the universal law again of polarity is always going to show up for us. Um, the, the thing that I think this is where I suppose ego is less and less present is when there is that kind of, this is what I'd love to have more of All right. this compassion, this middle ground of, okay, I know what I know, I know what feels right for me and I will have my voice and a lot of people won't like it and all that tells me is I'm saying exactly the right stuff. There's me. Sure. Then there is, I get it that people, some other people are scared or don't want to inform themselves or don't know how to or they're yep. overwhelmed or they're just like, this could never happen. What do you yes. mean the news would lie to us? A friend of mine said this recently. Well, BBC wouldn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> And so that middle ground of people, of hearts, of minds, of sort of confusion of where do I look, of this is too much. You know what? I'm just going to put, you know, put the tea on and put Netflix. The people who aren't screaming no, I really feel for them. And I felt like beating on them, which is when I see you wearing a mask and then I'm the one getting shit in the shop because you are not prepared to take yours off because you don't want to wear it. That actually the irony of it is you are endangering my life with your naivety. That's the bottom line. To move from that to, I totally understand that you're being ragged by a system and we're on the same team. Yeah. To straddle it, I find um, exhausting. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And this is where I'm also reminded I'm an introvert. Okay, okay. So I'm also gonna be like, this is tiring. So yeah. I don't know how you're doing it because I watch you and I get a lot of what you do. I would love to have more on, of, which is that loving place. And uh, you get defensive, obviously. But, you know, sure. that's sure. what we need is some kind of loving guidance on the way. Who is it that's doing this? Neil Donald Walsh. He's doing it beautifully in my mind. Sure. Oh, there's many. Uh, Eckhart Tolle and Byron Katie and, uh, you know, uh, the, the channeled, uh, the channelings uh, and the channels that are out there, etc. But no, sweetheart, you're, you know, again, this is why I love you and I love hanging out with you. Uh, because you you speak, you know, really to the heart of the matter uh, with uh, such, uh, such depth and such, you know, such uh, emotion. And all of that is right. Uh, um, you know, this... Um, this is the first time since the end of World War I that a group of people have deliberately and consciously uh, put forth a plan to try to control everyone on the planet. There it is. And um, that could be overwhelming, upsetting, or ridiculous, depending on where you're coming from. And like you say, for a lot of people, it's just, um, I can't believe it, I don't believe it, I don't wanna believe it, who are you? 
blah, 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 off we go. So, I mean, it's still early days, frankly, in the mind control experiment of 2020. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're, they're moving on their side of the fence and uh, our side is moving on our side of the fence. You know, uh, like we were saying before we got on here, there are a lot of um, truth tellers, uh, doctors, scientists, attorneys, uh, you know, people uh, that are trusted in society and are, um, you know, worthy of our trust, in my opinion, who are speaking to this. And um, this is so, you know, the spiritual part of it is like you're expressing very deeply, you know, this is part of our own awakening. If like, like, like to come back to abusive relationships as an example, if we sur when we survive, if we survive, when we survive abusive relationships in our life, those are really difficult experiences, but we learn really deep lessons about who we are our own personal relationship to uh, a loving higher power, if that's part of the story, which eventually it becomes more so the case for everyone. Uh, you know, before, at some point in everyone's life, we're faced with things that we can't solve, that we need to humble ourselves and, and ask for help about. And so all of that's happening. And at the same time, you know, we're, um, you know, uh, like in Ireland, the mortality rate is the same that it was in April, you know, and I, the, the chap I read, a, a physician in Limerick said, look, folks, in Ireland, 80 people a day die. There's about 6 million people in Ireland, 80 people a day die. Um, in, uh, uh, from COVID, it's about one or two people a day. And the average age of the person that dies from COVID in Ireland is 84 years old. Now, do we need to shut down the economy for that? Yeah, do we need to track and trace everyone for that? You know, um, no, uh, is, the, is the sane answer. But um, all this fear, I was just on with the session with a, with a friend here, and uh, I, in the channeling, they were saying, you know, it's not about the virus and it's not about the election in the States, it's about the fear. Exactly. And that's, that's the central theme that all of us are, are facing right now at the beginning of this new decade is what is our personal relationship to power and fear? So that's the test. And you know, whatever wisdom and courage and, and support and uh, resources uh, personally and socially we've built up and good, good grace from our friends and our enemies, what have you, you know, <laughs> friends and strangers, friends and neighbors, that's what we're learning from and drawing on. And, and yes, you're, you're quite right. I mean, I've lost friends over this and uh, people don't want to hear this, believe it, et cetera. Don't even want to talk about it. It's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. That's a choice, you know. So again, honey, that's why I love chatting with you and, uh, and the other folks out there that we can just say, look, this is my truth about this and it's not pretty, but we need to, we need to talk about it. Well, how do you deal with the, the, any kind of judgment that you have or because I was just thinking when I obviously when I get defensive it's fear I don't actually believe that this will uh, whatever we know it's obvious well we, we what, like you how do you, how do you manage it because I feel murderous sometimes like really <laughs> yeah yeah well it's um I mean so um Patricia Cota Robles this has been my guide and my teacher that I've talked about almost daily for the last few years. She, in her channelings, she says, look, folks, we know it, it from, it, from your point of view, it looks like the world's getting very bad very quickly. But she says, from the point of view of spirit, this is all that has hidden will be revealed. So the darkness is coming up, has to come up, you know, in order for us to face it, in order for us to make these con more conscious choices either that we give our power away blindly, this is, this is what humanity's done in the past, you know, fix us, save us, rescue us, you know, et cetera, we're helpless, we're victims, we're powerless, or perhaps there's somebody more, something, a force more powerful in the universe than people with bad intentions against us to exploit us, our f fears and ignorance. And so, you know, that's where we heal judgment, is healing it in ourselves. That's where we find strength, is humbling ourselves, you know listening to our own heart, giving ourselves to a higher power, asking for guidance. You know, honestly, it's, I feel really good right now because for the first time since all this started, 
I know what's happening, I understand why it's happening in general terms, and I have some idea of how to respond to it. Well, for the first time, why for the first time? Well, because um, it, it's these pieces of the puzzle haven't all fallen together so clearly. In, in, in also in terms of seeing other people rise up and say, this is not okay, this does not make sense, this is a violation of our civil liberties, we are being um, deceived, we're being um, uh, you know, uh, treated uh, without respect, uh, people are lying to us, people are lying to themselves, it's not okay. That, that slowly building uh, collective consciousness is reassuring and, and inspiring to me. So what happened? Good. I'm really, I'm really Thank pleased. you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait. We're saved. We're saved. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. That's all right. <laughs> what happens when people uh, just don't get it? Well, yeah, we have to like let that people be. People that you love, who you're close to. Yeah. I mean, that is the challenge. That's tr right. truly, totally the challenge, honey. And I mean, all I can say is, uh, I mean, I've had three of these conversations in the last day or so, you know, with people who are like, no, that's, you're wrong. I can't hear that. No, don't no, talk to me about that. You don't know what you're talking about, all that. So it's like, okay, I've, I've done my, my work here is done. You know, that's as far as we're going down this path together right now. Yeah. You know, uh, good luck to you, you know. And the other part of it is honestly, and again, this is bringing Patricia and spirit into it. I really do believe that those of us that are here to hold the candle for truth are being protected and being guided and supported. Well, I saw a really nice thing yesterday. I sent it to you actually. That right. um, it's, you know, um, the women that you, you uh, liked from last year, um, help, help. New Yorker, New Yorker, little pint-sized power happy. Um, Marianne Williamson? No, her New student. Her student. Oh, spirit donkey, Gabby, Gabrielle. Oh, Bernstein. Uh, G Gabby Bernstein. I'm not a huge Gabby Bernstein fan, but go on. Oh, you, well, okay. Yeah, uh, no, I, I barely know her. I just know who she is. I've not read anything or done any courses with her or anything. Yeah, well, I remembered that there was something. Okay she did or said that good. you were like and you you hadn't heard her heard of her before. Oh, okay so like, oh wow she's quite a powerhouse okay good um, they come and go you know how it goes exactly <laughs> <laughs> so it was something like it's a quote from her um if you knew who walked beside you there would be no fear something that's like brilliant. that yeah that's very good that's very and good and i thought that's just lovely because of yes. course all of her books and so on come from channel it's, she's channeling essentially that's how i yes yes it. well she's also a student of the course of miracles that's, that's yeah that's her yeah 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 um so anyway yeah that's well, the the challenges coming into that but i feel for you and i've had similar situations only a, a couple of people that i know well who have been like because do you remember when i don't know what you're doing with masks right now but when this first came out i bought masks for all of the shops right yeah. right right i right. went online and i bought masks for good for you and i took them to the shops and good said here are the best ones i can find that's so, you're, and there's you're like amazing. it's a village. There's five five shops or whatever. Well, that's still very However, kind of you. Um, very good of you. Well, I thought good. I really felt protective of them because I was thinking, shut your shops, hide, run. Sure, you know, it's the plague. It's the black plague. The Bring out your dead. Yes, of exactly. course. Yes. <laughs> and I even said to my to my brother, he was stood very close to somebody. I said, hang on, people, uh, wait, you're so close together. And then obviously. I thought, let's have a look into this a little bit. Yeah. So my, my friend said to me the other day, well, hang on a minute. What right. happened to when you were buying everybody masks? Because <laughs> everybody had the same fucking mask. Sure. It was sure. Like sure. Everyone knew who sure. Well, masks. that was early days. You know, things have exactly. changed. Yes. And that's what I said. And I said, well, I got curious about it because it was just so explosive. You know, yeah. like, yeah. wait, 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 what's going on? Let me just find sure. out. Sure. 
So of course now I'm traveling on flights with no mask and filming it and whatever. And people look at me as I go into a shop and they're like, don't even bother to ask properly. She's not playing the game. Right, and right, it's right. not, oh, you know, she's got medical reasons. It is, she's not playing the game. Sure, sure. Well, when people ask yeah. me now, it isn't I'm exempt because it is, right. I am an educated woman. Next yes, question. yes. Bless no. you. Bless so you. I remember when it first started and you're like, well, no, we need the masks and her. But so where are you now with all of it? Because I, I, I wear the bloody thing into the market. That's, right. that's the extent of my compromise with everyone else's peace of mind and, uh, you know, all of that. But I don't feel good about it. I want to tell you. And, well, uh, you know, yeah. yeah, no. And it's, it's, I mean, it's, the Band-Aid is coming off, you know. Uh, uh, just here in Ireland, we went uh, into, uh, you know, we can't have visitors any longer. This has just happened in the last few days. You know, <clears throat> my housemate, God love him, he's a lovely guy, but every time... I just have to, Lou, I just have to say that before. Um, I forgot that I was teaching at two. Okay. Totally forgot. Yeah. Didn't, didn't teach. So I said that I would be there with them at half past the hour, which I realize it already is in a minute. So can okay. we just know sure. that i'm gonna have to go in a few minutes and then yeah, that's fine. we could maybe i could call you back or speak it tomorrow or something sure, honey. yes whatever yes now that i've you know had some quality time with your good self <laughs> we're on the same uh we're in the same time zone again i'm thrilled you know it's lovely but of good. course we can do that yeah. but, but tell me you're not allowed visitors and your flatmate said and then i cut you up sorry. oh well it's just you know the, uh, the um the tests don't work <laughs> Number one, the tests have to be run oh, 30 or 40 times in order to have a positive result. And the man who designed them, who won the Nobel Prize in chemistry, said these tests are not designed to find viruses. Okay, that's a problem. Number two, uh, you're too, there's a thing called Cox postulates. It's four things with every virus that you're meant to be able to do and say, here, I've isolated this virus. This is a virus. No one in the world has done this. No one in the world has isolated the Wuhan virus and put it through the Cox postulates. Really? He asks, why is that? Well, it begs the question, is it really uh, the virus that's causing the illnesses that people are having? And according to Judy Mikovits, she says it's a combination of getting vaccinated, the aluminum and mercury in vaccines and the toxins in vaccines, which as we said earlier, I'd rather you shoot me now than put a vaccine in my arm at this point. Thank you very much. Those are my choices. He said that? No, I'm saying that. I'm saying right. that at this point. Yeah. After 20 hours of watching Bobby Kennedy Jr., that's my conclusion about all this. <laughs> you know? yeah. He's, yeah. my, he's one of my heroes. Uh, so yeah, you can just take it from there. The official story is ridiculous, preposterous, and it doesn't make sense. And uh, just to finish the thought, so we have the same level of mortality in uh, Ireland right now that we had here in October, in April, but because there are cases, which means they ran the test enough for there to be positive results, which does not translate to illness or death, but because there are cases, we're, we're closing down the, the economy again. See, the funny thing is when people say to me, it doesn't make sense, I think, what is it about this that doesn't make sense? You know, world domination doesn't make sense to you? What is it about that doesn't make perfect sense to me? Well, it's, you... it's that the idea that we're holding on to, to something that's going to go. It's like we're surprised it's sinister. That's the piece. Well, yes. And I mean, so... Uh, Anyone that studied uh, JFK's assassination or Bobby Kennedy's assassination or Martin Luther King's assassination or Malcolm X's assassination, which I grew up on all that stuff, or looked at HIV and AIDS or looked at 9-11, you know, it, it, it's, uh, or looked at the whole cover up over UFOs the last 60 years, et cetera. This is, this is a walk in the park. This is like a conspiracy, you know, tell me something I don't know, but that it would be so uh, ambitious and uh, bold and uh, really involve the whole planet uh, and that they would actually put it into motion and start to whittle away the civil liberties and the freedom of speech. You know, you and I both lose our minds every time we post something and someone tells us officially, this is not permitted, this is not true, this is not official. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's, George Orwell says the first casualty in war is the truth. And the second one is our culture. And that's really seems to be a part of the agenda here to depress, 
and uh, disempower and uh, yeah, steal the joy from our hearts and from our lives uh, so that we give up our freedoms willingly uh, in order to have uh, security and, and safety or the illusion of it. Yeah, so that's, that's the news from Lake Wobegon where all the women <laughs> are strong and all the men are good looking and all the children are above average, as we like to say. Did you say Lake Wobegon? Yes, this is uh, Garrison Keeler who is a wonderful story, storyteller, had a radio show in the States for 30 or 40 years called uh, Lake Wobegon. I've never heard that before. Oh, well, we'll have to introduce you to Garrison. Anyway, that was very naive of me. I thought, oh, well, it's okay. I'll talk to Lou and then do them. But uh, <laughs> that was silly. You're, you're, I, you're fine, sweetheart. You're fine. Yeah, just wave um, at me another time. We can post this or we can, we can do something longer. It's up to you. Yeah, why don't we go on and be together and what do you know what I like the idea of is talking more talking more and like we're talking to each other and they can just join in because rather than facilitate everything for them I'd be more interested in actually talking to you honestly. yes yes no I mean yeah honestly I I love chatting with you and this is a dream and people really do love our talks together I know this you know so why don't we do it when we want to do it, whenever that would be, I'm Just, happy to do you, you let me know, my friend. I'm, you're, you have the busy schedule. Mine is much more flexible. I should thought. we say it now before we go? Or sure. Should we let's, say it? Yeah, let's pick a um, time. Let's have a look. Are you thinking a particular thing or not? A particular thing? What, were, what we Let's just started see. here. Let's just do what we just started, you know. Finish Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go because I'm already past that. All right, honey. Well, yeah. How about you say two, three times? Because I can. There's not much on at all this month now for me. Well, uh, all right. I mean, this is what happens. I don't see you for two weeks, three weeks after you know we we chat, which is which is well, you know you you pick a time over the weekend. How does that sound? What about tomorrow? Yeah. What time? What about twelve o'clock? One. Uh, twelve o'clock tomorrow. One o'clock tomorrow. One o'clock. Okay. Let's they won. Okay. Let's do that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, love you. Love nice you too. To you. I love the hair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my problem. Okay, good. All right. Peace, man. Peace, Bye. Bye, baby.